Hello and welcome back to our Daily Soap. Today we're completing our uh, brief walk uh, through uh, some of the Psalms. We've been looking at Psalm 10 through 20 um, and have been journeying and walking through that together, uh, applying our Soap Bible study method to it, to that and, and listening for how God might be speaking to us. Uh, today we're looking at Psalm 20. Uh, what verse or verses stood out for you? What did God use today in his word to speak to you? For me, it was verse seven. It says, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. My oh, my observation is, our nation may have bombers, fighter jets, nuclear submarines, and a well-trained military but what it needs most is the Lord's favor. You know, I think about um, when God parted the Red Sea and Pharaoh's army was chasing after uh, the Israelites and um, the Israelites got through that just fine. Uh, they had God's favor. Um, but when Pharaoh's army, when their horses and all of their military power hit that split between in that water, I guess is what I want to say, uh, everything came crashing down on them. And um, it's just a, a reminder for me of, of God's power and how what we think is our greatest resource or resources in this world that we can rely on are nothing compared to God's power. And so, A, my application is, in any struggle that I might face in this life, I must not never rely on my own resources. Instead, I need to fully trust in the Lord. And finally, my P, my prayer is, Lord, in times of trouble, grant me wisdom to trust in you and not my own resources. Remind me in such times to seek your strength and your favor first, for you are, are my shield and stay today and every day. Amen. Once again, so glad that you were able to join us today. I want you to know that you are being prayed for um, as you uh, walk through these different chapters of the Bible, as we all open God's word together and learn together and grow together. I'm so glad that you're a part uh, of this SOAP uh, study that we do, and I hope that you'll continue to do so down the road. Tomorrow, we'll be looking at Colossians or beginning a quick walk through Colossians, starting with Colossians 1. I hope you'll be able to join us for that tomorrow. And uh, until then, I want you to know that you're being prayed for when you open God's word, that you will hear his voice and hear him speak to you. Once again, glad you're able to join us today. And as we close this time together, would you join me? in a word of prayer, this pray. Dear Heavenly Father, sometimes we um, we kind of underestimate your power and, and your ability. Uh, Father, we neglect who you are um, and we place our faith and our trust in things of this world. Father, today we ask for your forgiveness in that. Father, help us in times of trouble or even in times when there's not any trouble going on. May we seek your face first. May we find your favor by trusting in you each and every day of our lives. Father, we know that you know everything that occurs, everything that happens in our lives. Father, you are aware of that. Father, let us trust in that and fully lean into you in times of trouble and in times of blessing, because every blessing that we receive in this life is from your hand. And Father, for that, we give thanks. And I pray these things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Have a great day. Be blessed. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.